Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to more Tales of Zestiria. Last time we made it here to, uh, I think it's called Marland, and now we have to take the medicine to the sanctuary. Let's actually see what these people are talking about, other than just being gloomy and shit. It's never been able to hold us drinking, now what is this town coming to? Oh god, that guy's like totally passed out. What the hell's wrong with him? He's like a zombie. Hello there. You're kind of cute for being in like a town. Oh god. <laughs> like fused through her head. At least not like those games that like show us the, um... Like the skeleton and a mouth and the eyeballs, it's fucking weird. Uh, look around, sick people, yes, yes, okay, I don't even want to talk to any more people, this is just depressing. Let's just head to the sanctuary. <sighs> Alright, we're just laughing at Edna's lines. I guess I have to go this way, there's no other exit. There's a monolith and another save point out there, I think. I think that's what I just saw. So I guess it's the only path we can go on. Monolith! I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Yeah, I know, me too. When the going gets tough, are you checking the skills sheet on the equipment screen? Yeah, yeah. Get the AP thing. What's here? What's this place? Weapon shop? Yep. Alright, let's see if there's any good new gear here. Whoa! Calcite? Calcite? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm guessing- I'm just gonna say calcite. Maybe. We'll see. Um... What's holy bottle? Uh, once used, no weak foes will be encountered until you next day at the inn or next time you escape from a battle. No weak foes? Kind of like a repel, I guess? We get a few of those, see what that, how that works. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> These are all good for everyone. Alright, so one, one, one. Hopefully I'm not going to run out of money. There's a sale on this one. Is there any difference? HP recovery upon an enemy plus 60. Is this for everyone? It's probably just for the person wearing it, which will be Alicia. Luckily we have another human in our party, so that'll be really good. <clears throat> uh, Ty. I guess it's like just the two girls. I'm gonna get the one on sale because okay. I <laughs> think I should maybe get that treasure hunter ability or whatever it's called. Uh, t wow. At least we have a goal for stuff to get, I guess. <laughs> it's good for everyone. Um, I'll just get two for now. All right. Got a bunch of stuff. Familiar face already, like instantly. Sweet. All right. Let me let me equip some of these things. Very very menu filled episode so far. It's gonna be anyway. Uh, calcite sword. Ancient earrings. What was it? I think it was boots. No, it was like calcite. No, was it? Was it actually hard boots? That was something else. Maybe I didn't get the boots. Amber boots. I don't know. Like he's already wearing hard shoes. Hmm. What about these? Lowers whatever that is. <laughs> art defense and attack plus versus defense and HP. Let's get it some attack and art defense then. Has he got more titles yet? Nope. Next art will be Earth Dragon Fang. That's awesome. Okay, now I don't. Oh, I did get an umbrella for Edna. Uh, slightly lowers attack, but it raises the other ones a bit. Whatever that is. Mind. What is that? That'll be art defense. I think that symbols looks like a little surf animation thing. Hairband. Uh, do we have any garments for her? Nope. She already has a really good one. That's fine for her for now. The command shoes. Is that what I just bought? Maybe. Did she get a better spear yet? Nope. Not a better spear yet. Uh, ribbon tie. Get that. Amber garment. Um, hmm. Actually, she's already wearing it, so I can't just steal it. It's kind of messed up. Patriotic princess. I don't remember having this on. Uh, <laughs> that's right. She. Oh, that was already maxed. Did it automatically change? Because I remember changing something else that wasn't that was maxed already, and it wasn't changed by itself. Defense. Oh, I, I think I did change it before because I thought we were gonna fight some harder things. All right, let's see. Just, just double checking everyone. I thought I got something. Is it battle boots? No, Sublord fiend. Well, he's only level three on that one, so that's fine. Here, do we have better paper? Yes, we do. Wait, what was the difference there? Uh, she was wearing one of these. Probably, probably this one because it's leveled. Actually, they're both kind of leveled. Let's see. So, I lose. I gain whatever this is. Focus. I don't know what focus is. Is that like regen? I'm guessing it's like regen. Whoa, this one's blue. What the hell? Sealed. Spiri. What does this do? Huh. Hmm. Maybe I'll change that. See what that's like. Oh, that's the fusion thing I used. That's right. I forgot I made a fusion a long time ago. Just to see how that worked, but whatever. 
Um, command boots. I feel like I got shoes. What did I get then? Let me look at the shop again. It was shoes. Calcite boots. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't buy them. I guess I didn't. Oh, there's only one pair. Oh, I pressed twice thinking, oh god. No. <laughs> I like this member of our team. No. Um, I guess just Saray for now. It's focus and defense. Hmm. Kind of want to either give it to Mikleo or Lila. I give it to Mikleo. I haven't gave him usually. The, usually, caster things I give it to the other guy, or to the uh, you Layla. Just for me to pick you up, you? Oh, she just automatically has that ability. Damn it! So many men use in this episode. Uh, push full guard. I could get this. Can evade arts. Even when friend stepping. Chain banish. Okay, I'll just get push full guard for now. I don't know what the other ones are. Why is this set as second player? That's a little weird. Like, I shouldn't have a second player active right now. How do I do... Okay, that's semi-auto. She should be on auto. I don't know why it's set for second player, but, you know, whatever. Second, whatever, god damn it. It's because I'm playing on Steam, so... I'm using a controller, and the keyboard counts as a controller as well, so that kind of sucks. Hopefully, it's, I can still control her, or, you know, auto. Alright, that's enough menus for now. Oh, god. There is a, there is a save point. See if there's a skit. Nope, no skit. But I've been here now. Oh, god, that's like a big purple spot over there. And this is, uh, the... Let's see what this bonus quest is. Hello, person. Why does she look familiar? She looks so familiar! Hi. Turtles! Seems it's quite about sightings. You must be close by. Oh yeah, I made a new maps. Oh yeah, okay, sure. I don't know how to use them, but why not? Adventure map, Town of the Woods. Eh, so it just shows me everything. Marlin Sanctuary is way over there. Holy crap. Um, I believe it was this way, though. There was a shadowy thing, wasn't it? There's another shadowy thing like right ahead of me, though. Get me out, get me out of here. Yeah, it's like surrounded by little dark spots everywhere. Hmm. I'm gonna run up to it. I'm guessing it's a fight. Hello there, evil dark spot of like a fucking dragon head. That's fucking terrifying! I can't, I can't like... Oh, I can! Oh, alrighty then. Good to know. Probably gonna eventually have to find them all anyway, so good thing I found some now. Or that one. It's like a burn away whatever this evil shit is. In before, like at the very end, if this place can be purified, I can like... Oh god, I don't like this area. It's very open. Like, this place becomes like super sunny and bright and colorful. Alright, I probably missed a lot of those things then. The random ass question marks. Mm. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Three types of arts, yep, okay. We've learned about that one before. Got the AP point up. Uh, I don't see another major purpley thing over there other than the entire landscape, really. Okay, let's go up to the sanctuary. Actually, get on get on with this damn story. Let's see here. Was it here? Yes, this is the sanctuary. Is there any evil stuff? Ooh, there's a plant. There must be herbs around here. Since the herbs give like a permanent Sorry, effect. Look ooh. around you. Well, as I was saying, as the herbs give a permanent effect, or what it seems like a permanent effect. There's probably a limited amount of them around the world, because that would be kind of uh, cheaty if you just get a crap ton. Or maybe it's like in Pokemon, you can limited, you know, you only get a limited amount that you can give to each person. Lady Alicia, you made it safely. I brought medicine. What's happening? They were wait. Okay, these we aren't do fighting not me. Stop the infection. The disease has spread to our ranks. We cannot even exterminate the wild dogs. At this rate, the entire kingdom may very well succumb to its ravages. By the stars. First, please distribute the medicine. Right away. Things will be okay. They've got resources now. Yes. And us. Don't forget and us. We can help dispatch the hellhounds. <laughs> yeah. And the evil faces that I could run away. I suspect that they are not the true source of this epidemic. A stronger Hellion, born of powerful malevolence. So it's gonna be a boss, probably. Oh boy. Oh, something's watching me, or is it just... Okay, it's just a pan out. 
pan up and up, back down. Consumed plague medicine. Oh, I just used it, right? Purify the malevolence in Marland. Yeah, I'll do that. That seems really easy to do. Um, what about this guy? Capital's got to send reinforcements soon. Just hope you can hold them until they do. Alright, I'm just checking if there's not like a anything in here I can look at. Can I like break this pot? Nope. Or barrel. Whatever. Okay, so they want me to defeat the dogs. Oh, okay. I was hoping for this. Some more direction. Whoa. The dragon! No, it's just a hellion. You can tell because the humans don't see it. Oh. It's an evil ass looking fucking it's hellion. Over there. So dragons can be seen, apparently. Landing over where? Oh. Maybe it's that big open area I saw. Is it the big open area? It is the big open area. Of course. Is there a save point? <laughs> There's a save point somewhere. It was right around down there in the inn. That's pretty far for a save point. Is there not another one? I guess not, because I would have seen it by now. Screw it. Let's fight it. Who cares if I die, right? Uh, god damn it. Oh god, it looks fucking massive. Whoa, my screen like freaked out. It looks like a dragon to me. Yeah, it looks like a dragon. We don't know that for sure. You can tell me if it gets too dangerous. Wonderful. And I wind up with all the responsibility as usual. <laughs> he nods. <coughs> oh god. Oh god, what's this? Oh Jesus. That Hellion is called the Drake. It's a younger form of dragon. So it's almost there. It looks like the city's malevolence is energizing it somehow. Then we have to kill it while we still have time. Wait, don't Alicia. Hold on. We have to purify it. Look out. Oh, crap. And fight. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, we're running. Are we not going to battle? I guess not. That was close. <laughs> They're just wondering what the hell's wrong with us. Sorry, we didn't mean to startle you. Huh. Again? Again what? We gotta do something. Edna, you said that the malevolence in the city is energizing that thing, right? Probably. So we need to find the source. Then we should focus on purifying the malevolence. Indeed. I expect that would naturally weaken the drake. Although it sounds like a huge hassle. Well, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelette. The plan sounds good enough to me. Though your choice of metaphor less so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even if we do manage to weaken it, we can't fight it if we can't bring it down. We'll find a way to accomplish that too. With everyone's help. Hassle times two. Slow Hassle and steady wins two. the race, Edna. Oh, yes. I prefer that metaphor to the one where we're eggs that go splat. <laughs> Time to begin operations slow and steady. <laughs> yeah, ladies, slow and steady. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's enough of that. Alright, so what's... Is it just purify? God damn it. What do we do? Well, there's a bunch of stars now. There's one there, there's one at the very end. There's a question mark, I guess, as a dungeon that we have to enter. Um, I guess I'll go to the closer one near the save point first. I suppose? I, I don't know. Maybe we'll find things. Maybe those are the spots where the floating heads were. That I just burned. Or not, because there's one like right here. Alright, what do you want, lady? It looks like a Shall dying I child. Carry those? No, oh. I'm just fine. A Books? history of mom with culture and the works of Sir Geoffrey. Wow, it's the first time I'm seeing them. These are valuable books. I'm hiding them away so they don't get lost or destroyed in the war. Hmm. Oh, then all the more reason I should be helped. 
It's fine. It's a classified location. Oh, okay. Jeez, lady, I'm sorry. Don't Go tell ahead. anyone about this. It's to protect the books. Something's up. The upcoming you war. Think so? It's like they know about it already. Don't you? She was all excuses and we didn't even say anything. I certainly never heard of any such secret library. Hmm. It's a little strange. Let me uh, get to the save point. Not not to stop the episode or anything, but just <laughs> finding money, goddammit. Just to see if there's a skit. Yeah, there is, okay. So this is Marland. It is a city rich in history, is it not? I believe even the Celestial Record mentioned it. Yeah, I always wanted to visit Marland, the city of knowledge nestled amongst the holy trees. Their shining branches are as a beacon unto the fruit of knowledge and the flower of aesthetics. There walks this continent no true scholar, no true artist who did not once frolic in its sylvan depths. Well, the fruit looks pretty rotten right now, if you ask me. <laughs> pretty sure no one did. Even so, she's right. Maybe so. But flowers will always bloom again in springtime and bear their fruit in autumn. Indeed, the cycle will never end so long as there remains passion for knowledge and beauty. Right? Very true. History has proven as such. I think you have flowers in your head or something. <laughs> Don't you like flowers, Edna? I mean, they're fine. The pretty ones, at least. God damn it, Edna, really? <laughs> Why is she such a bitch? Alright. I guess we'll follow that other star, which now it seems like it's farther in. Oh, it's in the sanctuary. I thought, that was, thought it was over there. What? Did I change something? That's kind of weird. Hmm. Odd. Curious. Oh, yeah, it's this way. So there's a star over here. What do you want? Hello. Oh, my daughter rests in peace in the cemetery. She loved books so much. She's hiding the books in the graveyard? Looks like the same exact lady. Anyway. Is that back? No. Search for the woman who was carrying books. I, I did. It's her. She was a bookworm too. Oh, whoa, okay. There might be something nearby. A shabby spear. Well, we know at least she uses spears. Nope. Oh, what happened? <sighs> I understand you wanting to trust her, but something's wrong. Kind of funny to bury books in a graveyard. Haha. <laughs> I'm similarly concerned. Let's hide and observe. All right. So we found her already. Oh, okay. It's like an entrance to a dungeon, probably. Oh shit. Don't kid yourself, Agatha. That's worth a thousand at best. Who's there? You're... So you lied to us about protecting the books? Hmm. It was always just my daughter and I barely getting by. I couldn't even give her one happy memory before she died. Haven't I suffered enough? Can I not have something good for once in my life? Oh shit. Malevolence! We're taking these back. What about the vendor? Or the buyer, I guess. I'll be turning you into the guards for misappropriation and theft. <laughs> I always knew someday this was bound to happen. The malevolence is fading. I don't need this anymore. Do you think you can return it to Naif for me? Naif. That's the guy by the bridge, isn't it? The old man? <sighs> What what is it? What is it? Catching her quelled the malevolence? That's probably what she wanted deep down, to be brought to justice. 
Well, I guess that proves that she really did love books after all. Earth dwellers are such a chore. <laughs> Can we just get like through one cutscene without her having like a snarky ass comments? God damn it. What a library key, what? Is it down there? Alright, I probably have to go down there next. Alright. Let's head on down. Hmm. So if I have to do a dungeon next, seeing how there is like an entrance over there. So I'm gonna save the game here and We'll catch that in the next episode, guys. So I'll just start doing my outro now. So if you guys would like to see more of Tales of Phone, if you guys are enjoying it, if you guys aren't enjoying it, whatever you guys want, uh, leave a like, leave a dislike. I don't. I mean, a like would be awesome, but if you guys don't like it, then whatever. I mean, either way, it helps, I guess. Um, comments, see how I can improve the series and stuff like that, or if you guys like it, or you guys think something is funny, whatever. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you guys next time with more Tales of Zestiria. Thanks for watching, everyone.